I can't do it. I can't do it, you guys. I just can't bring myself to do it. I am trying so hard to go ahead and smash one of these plants so that we can put in our new sprinkler. But I, I just can't. How can I smash our teensy tiny little plants? They're just doing their best to grow. All oh, right, here, we'll pick this petunia and then we can put our brand new sprinkler. Ta-da! Right there! Oh, okay, I feel a lot better not having to cut everything down. And speaking of these wonderful level five petunias that could win any flower show I entered them in, we'll go ahead and pluck these up and go buy some more seeds from the general store to keep the money coming on in. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, aka SOS Poot, where I have been busy setting up for another beautiful summer day here on our wonderful food forest farm and part of that has been collecting up the iron and the silver ingots that we have had scattered about to put down more sprinklers because I really feel like sprinkle power is going to be like the future of being able to make a ton of money and really seeing progress thrive on our farm all right we'll go ahead and water these guys for now and once we get the sprinklers set up they're gonna be set up forever which is kind of absolutely amazing all right Oh, and we also need to visit with Nigel today because Henrietta laid a gloriously beautiful happy egg uh, yesterday and I wanted to be able to go ahead and let her have some little chicks of her own to celebrate, but it turns out that we weren't actually able to go ahead and have her have any little chicks because in order to have your hen hens be able to hatch up a beautiful egg, you have to have a big barn and I have no idea what a big barn needs. So let's go talk to Nigel and we'll see what he might need in order to get a big barn. <gasps> and then, okay, how much are these worth? Oh, Petunias, I hate to sell you, but mm, I should probably keep a couple of these because these are really high level Petunias and we could probably get some rare seeds from them. All right, well, but okay, we'll think about it. We'll think about it by the end of the day because I need 2000 more gold so that we can actually upgrade our hammer to a golden hammer before the summer jamboree oh there's just a lot going on oh and before i go anywhere heck sorry guys i know we always visit and just suddenly have this gigantic to-do list but before i go anywhere i definitely want to come over and make ralph a thank you soup because he actually saved us from a bear yesterday which is just kind of amazing and he absolutely adores green pottage, as we've found out. So I'm gonna take him more green pottage to say thank you for freaking rescuing my life from a wild bear. <gasps> Look at this, you guys! What just happened? Learning new recipes? We leveled up our cooking skill. You can now learn recipes after a meal. After eating at the cafe or the bistro, you might come across a recipe for something tasty. Now's your chance to learn from Masaki and Sally's cooking. <gasps> you guys, oh, that's gonna be so exciting. Ivy girl, come on, you can come on a little walk with us into town. Oh, okay, never mind. She's, she's ready to go on the walk. Just ran for it. All right, come on, Ivy. We're going to go ahead and visit with Nigel and see what it's going to take to upgrade our coop in our barn. And we're also going to visit with him so that we can try to see what it's going to take to get those glorious mushroom logs in my life. All right, up we go. And if Ralph happens to be visiting, I am totally giving him the glorious gift of green pottage soup. All right, I don't think he's here today. Yeah, not here today. That's totally fine. Nigel, how are you doing? Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop y'all in the summer jamboree. Hello. Hey there. Hey there, Nigel. Here, actually, would you like a nice log? Hey, he mm. likes it. I mean, he does need a lot of logs for his work, Hello. I imagine. All right, so what we actually want him to be able to help us with, develop farm facilities. <gasps> Look at that. If we had Oh, we can make a big barn here so animals can give birth and there's extra nesting space installed. So we actually need to get a lot more silver ore because we need it not only for the sprinklers, but for the big coop so that Henrietta can go ahead and have a baby of her own. So big coop, I'm writing it down in my handy dandy little field notebook here. The big coop is going to need solid lumber. So we're gonna need 10 solid lumber. 
We're going to need 10 silver ingots, and we're going to need 50 of the flexible grass. Hmm. That's definitely stuff we can get our hands on, so I don't mind working on that. And then for the big barn, we're going to need... All right, barn. Down into my little field notebook it goes. We're going to need... 10 of the supple lumber. I see how it is here. Oh, and 10 of the gold ingots. That actually is a point in the favor of upgrading the the act or the hammer to the golden hammer. And then we need some tough grass. And we need 50 of that so that our wonderful bluebell will be able to raise a little flower sprout of her own. All right. So we don't want those things even though those are really cool. And if we wanted farm facilities there it is! The mushroom log! It's only 2,500 gold. Just straight up gold. We can totally do that. And we can have three stables for horses. What? That is so cool! Okay, so I think we probably will want to go ahead and just upgrade our coop in our barn first. And I absolutely want to get 20 mushroom logs. Because did you guys see how much those mushrooms are worth? They are worth a lot of money. We could be growing mushrooms everywhere. My eyes are twinkling just thinking about it. I wonder if eventually you're able to raise your cultivator skill high enough that you can actually go ahead and possibly end up being able to, to get mushroom spores from your own mushrooms and raise the quality of them higher and higher until Ta -da! You just have a ton of really like world-class mushrooms. World-class mushrooms. All right, mushroom log. Mushroom log. 2,500 gold. Excellent. And then if we wanted to expand our house actually, so that would be 30,000 gold. And we could have two pets so I could get the Maine Coon cat if we managed to pull this off. And how will we get 30,000 gold, you ask my friends? Easy. We're definitely going to need to go ahead and get more sprinklers. That'll get more, like, tree or more vegetables and fruits growing, and that will all just, like, play on top of one another. All right. So the house also needs 30 normal lumber, 30 solid lumber. Got it, got it. We need 30 iron ingots. All right, all right. We could actually pull this off. The only limiting factor would be if we can get ourselves enough money. So, hmm. All right, thank you, Nigel. Um, and then he actually sells, wow. Hey now. Okay, he's starting to sell some pretty nice stuff. All right, thank you, Nigel. That's excellent information to have collected. So if we wanna have Henrietta be able to go ahead and enjoy her own chick chick, we need to get a bit of money and we also need to get a lot more silver, so we might need to spend some time in the mines for sure, friends. All right, who wants what today? Oh, Sydney! I almost never see her and she wants some lemon marigolds. We can totally grab those for her. And then, yay! And we got the Skilled Chef Award, which means we can go ahead and sell that for a little bit of money. And I took that sardine we caught last night, guys, and I turned it into a grilled fish for Iori. And I did promise him that we would practice our fishing more because we definitely haven't lived up to doing as much fishing as he probably wants us to do, which is probably why our relationship with him is going up a little slowly. It's steadily, but kind of slowly. And I want to go say hello to Ralph and thank him for rescuing us and saving my life yesterday. So let's go say hello to those guys. And then we can get the lemon marigold because that'll be more money in our pocket for the golden hammer. All right, here's Ralph. Hey, Ralph. Thank you for rescuing my life yesterday. The summer jamboree is upon us. I want to break, break last year's record. That sounds amazing. Also, pod inch to say thank you for saving my life. Thank you, this is great. You clearly have good taste. Yes, I'm so glad we can make that for him. Do you need something? Oh, oh, I love this. All right, let's go down and say hello to Iori, and then we'll spend a little bit of time fishing because I did promise him that I would work on the fishing skill. All right, did I manage to catch him before he wiggled off anywhere? There's the mayor. I didn't know the mayor comes down to the beach. What are you doing down here, Mr. Mayor? Admiring your new benches? Mm -hmm. I must make haste to get myself in shape for the summer jamboree. 
Two days before the Jamboree? You're really pushing things. And it's my job to meet and talk with as many people as I can. No doubt all of the tourists are making him so happy right now. Ayori, the summer Jamboree will be upon us ere long. Indeed it will. Could you please let me know what you think about the sardine I caught? My thanks to you. Did you have my taste in mind? I sure did. A word of fishing advice. If you're on the hunt for a larger variety of fish, you would do well to ask Master Clemens to upgrade your fishing rod. Thank you, Ayori. All right. I'll go ahead. Oh, I was going to keep fishing until he left, and he just left. <laughs> so maybe that answers some of my question. Yes! And we got a squid! <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. We'll go ahead and do a little bit more fishing. And I really should probably... I'm, I'm, I've not been spending, like, good time with him, I think. I think I should go ahead and try to spend time. All right, we want blue. Time fishing when he's actually here. <gasps> and we got a little harvest sprite from catching a really good common squid. But I'll fish till like six at least. Because I feel like I just haven't honored the roleplay story that we're trying to build with Iore. Alright, come on fish fish. Almost got you, friend. And another sardine! Yes! Now we have what we actually need to go ahead. And now I'm apparently exhausted from- I'm exhausted from a fight with a sardine. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> oh, hey, George. Do I have that silky egg still? No, I already turned that silky egg in. Good to see you. Okay, just petting George. Don't mind me. A little embarrassing. That's fine. The summer jamboree, eh? It, is it about that time already? Indeed. I tried sitting on one of those new benches. Comfy. I approve. Wonderful. Hey, Damon. The summer jamboree is soon, right? You should enter. The town's gotten pretty busy now. Everyone looks happy about that. Oh, I love how everybody talks about, like, new things as time goes on, too. I think that's pretty fun. All right, so now we know what we're going to need in order to get mushroom logs, to upgrade our coops, to go ahead and upgrade our house, and it all boils down to cold, hard cash, my friends. So, you know what that means? Being able to really get these crops popping up out of the ground and selling them for a lot of money... And also probably getting more chickens and sheep. There we go. We'll go ahead and sell all these. And then I'll put the sardine away so that we can hopefully make it into grilled fish later. And let's go inside. I think I will sell those petunias today, even though they're kind of rare. And let's see if... Oh, I know fruit salad now! A salad packed with a variety of fruit and I know egg salad now! Oh yay, I've learned some new meals. We know chestnut rice, uh, kitsune udon. We know how to make pizza, baked beans. Oh my gosh. I love upgrading our cooking skill. It just makes me really happy. We know how to make baked apples now and maple muffins. Oh my gosh, and even in, uh, injeo olmi toast, what? Injeo olmi toast, Mont Blanc. That looks amazing. Wow. We know how to make coffee and hot milk. Oh, this is so cool. And vegetable juice. You know what? Let's go ahead and try to make ourselves. Can I make any of these things? I can make the grilled fish. I can make the fruit dessert, which does not fill you up very much. So I have learned. Um, Let's make the fruit salad. All right. I'm going to make a fruit salad with the potato and strawberries, and the oregano. I don't think that's gonna taste very good, <laughs> but I could be wrong. And then I'll also rest in the bath for just a second, because I think the bottom line is we want to bring on the rain by getting as many sprinklers as possible, which means spending some time in the mines. All right, Ivy Girl, you should probably go ahead and stay home now. So you can be nice and comfy here. There we go. I think she ran outside to go play now. And then let's go ahead and eat ourselves this fruit salad. Oh, the fruit salad added extra hearts? That's amazing! Okay, we'll have to remember that it's like um, just fantastic that way. And then we're going to head over to our mines so that hopefully we can get ourselves 
some more silver and some more iron. And then as things slowly but surely start tilting their way over to having empty spaces, then we'll continue to make more of these sprinklers. But until then, I'm gonna keep these in here. There we go. All right, and then to get into the mines and do a bit of work. All of the watering I did earlier really did wear me out, but at least like doing all of the watering does help with raising our field work skill. Good. Well, actually, I think that just harvesting full-grown crops and actually using the hoe does that. So do, do I get anything from all of the... You know, I don't think I really get any skill from watering all the things I've been watering. Ah, <sighs> that's okay. All right, let's ride on up. Look at this place. Oh, I'm so excited about the idea of being able to upgrade our hammer to a golden hammer too. Oh, I scared away the little roly-poly bug again. That's okay. We'll come back to it. In we go. Let's see if we find some treasures today. Or if I'm just able to fight these guys a little better. Okay. All right. We've got to work our way down. Oh good, there's a way down. And we'll gather up the silver that we stumble across. And I'm hoping we'll be able to find some more gemstones. Just like, would I sell the gemstones though? I'm such a pack rat, I probably wouldn't. Yes, and there is gold here too. I love being able to explore in these mines. Oh, look, there's some stuff we can dig up. All right, let's go ahead and hurry and get this gold. And then tomorrow we'll actually see if we'll be able to upgrade the hammer. In fact, maybe we can do that today, like with you guys today. So we'll move quickly. All right, let's grab this. There we go. And then we'll get all of the silver here. And, man, imagine how good it would feel if we could bonk those little guys on the head. I know that seems really rude, but come on, they're like terror moles. Alright, there we go. Nice. And Clemens does such a great job every time he upgrades the tools. We'll have to take him another raw barrel to say thank you. Alright, come on. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit. hit. Ah, dang it. Okay, come on. Get this gold, get this gold. The more gold we can get, the sooner we'll be able to upgrade our axe too. You're not gonna get me, little terribles. Okay, on we go. I really feel like they actually rush at you, th these guys. But I guess I did just barge into their house and like start swinging an axe. So on the other hand, I can't really blame them. <sighs> All right, let's smack these guys. And there we go. Good, good, good. Man, there's so much silver down here. Yay! Oh, we're almost at 100 harvest sprites. Good. Then we'll have to go, I think maybe when we get to 100, we'll go ahead and we'll go visit Sprite Village because it's been a little while. Oh, no, you go, little moles. Wow, yeah, you collect so many more resources here. It kind of makes it an interesting debate about why you would visit the older mines once you are able to go ahead and get access to the newer ones. All right, there we go. This is probably going to be it. And then we'll go ahead and just rush like first thing to go visit Clemens in the morning and upgrade our hammer if we have enough money. Because I, I would be really tickled to have a gold hammer in time for the summer jamboree. All right. And we're about ready to pass out. Oh, we got another little harvest sprite. I'm glad we waited until that last second. And let's head back home, friends. Completely exhausted, but victorious. Totally victorious. Wild secret loyally waiting for us. I completely forgot to take the lemon <laughs> up to town hall. I really should be doing a loop, maybe like a, a ride around town to say good morning to a few people and a waltz were there, like maybe saying hi to Ralph, being able to talk to him about the wild animals and, and other things like, you know, how his day might be going. But then maybe I would want to visit with Lynn. Ah, and I haven't even given Laura like a fair shot yet at all because we've hardly seen her. Oh, the choices, the choices. 
All right, let's keep going. Onward, my noble steed. Everything's watered over here. And we put down the other sprinkler we made. Good. And then we're going to wrap up the night because it is so late with making one grilled fish out of the sardine to go ahead and give Iori to show him that we're trying to learn a little bit from his fishing lessons. And now let's go ahead and pass out. And in the morning, if we have enough money, golden hammer time! That would be quite the achievement, actually. I don't know if anything comes after golden hammer. Yes! Okay, we're definitely going to have enough money. And with that, we'll be able to go deeper into the mines and who knows, find more gemstones. <gasps> what was that? I have no idea what that was, but it was really ridiculously cute. Also, Ivy Burr, you can come play outside if you want. Be a good girl. Okay, let's go and hammer, 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 hammer. I definitely slipped in. Okay, let animals out, then hammer. Also, is anything ready to harvest? <gasps> We've got melons, you guys! What? Are they ready to harvest? Not quite, but they're being taken care of by their fancy pantsy sprinkler. And look at this, our corn is ready to go too. Oh, I'm so proud. All right. This is gonna make the vast amounts of money we're about to lose feel a little less painful, I think. There we go. And now we've got another empty spot that we can go ahead and put a sprinkler down on. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and ship all of these. Wonderful, wonderful. And let's let the animals out. Grab Wild Secret. Grab the iron ingots we need. Oh, heck. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't know what kind of lumber I might need for the gold. Huh. Probably supple lumber. Oh no, am I gonna am I gonna need like lumber I don't have? Ah, that's gonna suck. Oh my gosh, I can just see it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab all of the good lumber that I've got and we'll see if it's gonna be enough. Alright. So I know I need five gold ingots. Alright, we've got that. And then let's go ahead and get the gold. The silver guy is working. There you go. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Wild secret. No more time to waste. Time to see if we actually are able to go for the gold. Can we get our golden hammer or will my dreams be crushed and rusted? Nope. The lumber, Siri. The lumber. <laughs> you goose. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still have no idea where that like fire crab is going to be. That's going to be interesting to see. But we'll find him somewhere. Okay, there we go. All right, so my guess is we're actually going to need some of the supple lumber. So we'll grab some of it. And do Clemens! Oh, look at all of those cool bugs! We really should be looking for some of those bugs because I think they probably only come out in the summer. Alright, alright, alright. The moment of truth, the moment of truth. Clemens, really good to see you, dude. There's a competition involving a hammer for Summer Jamboree. You'd better believe I'll be leaving everyone in the dust. Everyone's feeling super confident about that. And Clemens, I like you so much, I'm going to give you this gold ore. As a thank you. <laughs> for the work that you're about to do on my hammer, right? Everything Lars does, he does with all his heart. Thankfully, that positive attitude of his usually lands him in more good situations than bad. Oh, You know, he's really big on like supporting his brother and I appreciate that. All right, golden hammer. <gasps> I need 10 gold? Oh, but we'll be able to go ahead and break several stones in even wider range. All right, come on. All right, we're gonna, no, 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 no. I'll be right back, I'll be right back, Clemens. We're doing this, friends. We're going to do this. 10, 10 iron ingots. I, I think we actually have that, Think or 10 gold ingots. Oh my word, okay. Come on, come on, come on, wild secret. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got ingots to take care of. All right, come on, gold, come on, gold. Jumping off my horse, tackling this chest. 
Yes! Okay, so we do have the 10 ingots. Oh, I'm so relieved. All right, let's go spend all our money. This is totally gonna be worth it, right? Because then we'll be prepared for the summer jamboree and we will go ahead and be able to get much deeper into the mines, knock all of the rocks out of the way forever, be able to get tons of gold. We can upgrade our ax after that, start working on some of those harder to find lumber pieces. And life is just going to look hey. golden from here. The golden hammer. Let's do it. We did it! And also I have no idea what this top tier hammer is. What the heck is the Orchakelium? I have no idea where we're even going to find it, but that's okay. That's a problem for future Siri. All right, you guys, we now have the golden hammer. Look at this. We're going to be able to smash things into huge range now and hopefully give those little moles quite the bop on the head and get all sorts of treasures from them. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. If you could, do please leave a like for our fantastic new golden hammer. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.